like to see all the executive orders that have been put into place to take over our nation, nation, nation. to have complete control over us, over us, over us, over us, to take away our rights, rights, round us up, round us up, and put us where they want us, where they want us, they want us. Here we go. Executive Order 10990 allows the government to take over all modes of transportation and control of all highways and seaports. Executive Order 10995 allows the government to seize and control the communication media. Executive Order 10997 allows the government to take over all electrical power, gas, petroleum, fuels, and minerals. Executive Order 10998 allows the government to seize all means of transportation, including personal cars, trucks, or vehicles of any kind, and total control over highways, seaports, and waterways. Executive Order 10999 allows the government to take over all food resources and farms. Executive Order 11000 allows the government to mobilize civilians into work brigades under government supervision. Executive Order 11001 allows the government to take over all health, education, and welfare functions. Executive Order 11002 designates the Postmaster General to operate a national registration of all persons. Executive Order 11003 allows the government to take over all airports and aircraft, including commercial aircraft. Executive Order 11004 allows the Housing and Finance Authority to relocate communities, build new housing with public funds, designate areas to be abandoned, and establish new locations for populations. Executive Order 11005 allows the government to take over railroads, inland waterways, and public storage facilities. Executive Order 11051 specifies the responsibility of the Office of Emergency Planning and gives authorization to put all executive orders into effect in times of increased international tensions and economic or financial crisis. Executive Order 11310 grants authority to the Department of Justice to enforce the plan set out in executive orders to institute industrial support, to establish judicial and legislative liaison, to control all aliens, to operate penal and correctional institutions, and to advise and assist the president. Executive Order 11049 assigns emergency preparedness function to federal department and agencies, consolidating 21 operative executive orders issued over a 15-year period. Executive Order 11921 allows the Federal Emergency Preparedness Agency to develop plans to establish control over the mechanisms of production and distribution, energy sources, wages, salaries, credit, and the flow of money in U.S. financial institution in any undefined national emergency. It also provides that when a state of emergency is declared by the President, Congress cannot review the action for six months. The Federal Emergency Management Agency has broad powers in every aspect of the nation. General Frank Salzito, chief of FEMA's Civil Security Division, stated in a 1983 conference that he saw FEMA's role as a new frontier in the protection of individual and governmental leaders from assassination and of civil and military installations from sabotage and or attack, as well as prevention of dissident groups from gaining access to U.S. opinion or a global audience in times of crisis. FEMA's powers were consolidated by President Carter to incorporate the National Security Act 1947 that allows for strategic relocation of industries, services, government, and other essential economic activities and to rationalize the requirements for manpower, resources, and production facilities. The 1950 Defense Production Act gives the President sweeping powers over all aspects of the economy. The Act of August 29, 1916 authorizes the security of the Army in time of war to take possession of any transportation system from transporting troops, material, or any other purpose related to the emergency. The International Emergency Economic Powers Act enables the president to seize the property of a foreign country or national. These powers were transferred to FEMA in a sweeping consolidation in 1979.